Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord, and as we continue our Lenten pilgrimage, we beg for the grace that we may truly understand the meaning of surrendering our will to God's will. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please stand. Jesus, the light is calling. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to, whom e to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also, he gave, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all, in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of the condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ano po yung mas mahirap? Yung naguutos o yung inuutusan? Siguro isipin natin mas madili yung naguutos kasi wala naman siyang gagawin. Hindi naman siya kikilos at aasahan niya lang yung inutusan niya. This kind of setup will be easy to understand in a superior subordinate set up. We easily expect that the subordinate will, auto will automatically obey his or her superior. Kaya kapag, ang, kaya kapag ang bata inutusan ng matanda, aasahan natin na susundin agad yun ng bata. Kundi, no? yak napapagalitan yung bata nung nakatatanda. O kaya sa trabaho, ano yung naririnig natin? Utos ni boss eh. Kapag utos ni boss, kailangan gawin. Dahil kung hindi sinunod yung utos ni boss, pwedeng maalis sa trabaho, pwedeng mawalan ng trabaho. But obedience is not just about following the instructions of the superior one. Obedience would also entail a surrendering of the will. And how many of us are familiar with it? Or how many among us are willing to surrender our own will? And this is what Jesus is reminding us today in our gospel. When we surrender our will, it is, just, it is not just about losing one's control. It is acknowledging that there is a higher power that is guiding our actions 
and decisions. Pero sino ho ba sa atin yung gustong mawala ng kontrol? Sino ba sa atin yung gustong magpadikta? Sino ba sa atin yung gusto na kinokontrol? Wala naman ho siguro. We would want our own independence. And there is nothing wrong with that. But independence can also be dangerous if it only points to our own self-interests. Kung hahayaan lang ng isang magulang na gawin lang yung gusto ng kanilang batang anak, ano kaya gagawin ng anak? Baka magdaro lang siya ng maglaro. Pero darating ang panahon na kailangang paalalahanin ng mga magulang yung kanilang anak na may oras ng paglalaro. May oras na kailangang itigil ang paglalaro, kailangang pumasok sa eskwela at kailangang matuto at mag-aral. There will be some sense of control over the child by his or her parents. But time will also come that their child will also mature. There will come a time that he would decide on his own. There would come a time that the parents will no longer be in control. There will come a time that independence will come in. But even if independence comes in, we can never be in full control. There will always be someone superior than us. We will always find ourselves subordinate to someone. Because independence plus full control would equal to total disaster. But then again, how comfortable are we with that? Even if we can make our own decisions, do we still recognize that there are things beyond our control? Or do we force everything so that we could take control of everything? Kaya nga minsan kapag hindi lumalabas yung gusto natin, hindi naayon yung mga nangyayari, iniisip agad natin, saan ba ako nagkamali? Anong hakbang ba dapat yung ginawa ko? Because we tend to see everything as a simple cause and effect. And if it does not, and if it does not go our way, chances are we put the burden and blame on others. Kung babalikan, hulu, kung babalikan huulit natin yung tanong, anong mas mahirap yung naguutos o yung inuutusan? Siguro, ang mas magandang sagot ay sino ba yung handang magsuko ng sariling kalooban? If we are able to surrender our will, then it will not just be about being independent and taking full control. But surrendering our will would simply mean letting God guide our minds, letting God guide our hearts. We could still have control, but it is also leaving room for God to take hold of us. Please stand. As we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and conform to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by, help, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which should be so as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight we join the St. Nicholas of Tolentine Cathedral from the Diocese of Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija, who will lead us for our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 p.m. We may follow them through our social media platforms. We continue to pray for the healing of the world, especially for those who have been affected by this pandemic. We pray for the healing of our soul. We pray for the healing not only of our bodies, but also for our souls as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So